Hello everyone, this is PHTV4. I'm Sue Jankowski, and we are here today with At The Library, a show that we bring you every month because our library is so wonderful, as you know, if you're going there, and even if you're uh, getting things remotely, you know how great our library is. So we're really always happy to bring you information about what's upcoming in the month of November. And uh, today we have um, Emily, who is here uh, for Miat. Hello. Uh, it's nice to have you here today, Thank Emily. you so much. I'm happy to be here. Good. Thank you. And of course, Tina, uh, who's here for uh, Teen and Youth Services, Youth and Teen. Uh, and this is Public Services. So we have um, a lot of stuff always. And I won't be surprised if there's a lot going on in the month of November. It just seems to get busier and busier, and there's always something fun to do at the library. I hope you're taking advantage of it because, um, boy, it couldn't it couldn't be more fun at the library. I think. Yes. I just oh, yeah. even just like hang out. I, I mean, they have great hangouts places in there you can read and and just enjoy a different uh, scenery than your home. Anyway, Emily, what is going on for uh, the more adult side of things? Sure. So beginning of November, we have our Spice Club, which is still continuing. Uh, so our November Spice is Sage. Oh. So you can start to register November 1st until November 5th. And then the pickup for those spices start that Monday, November 6th through the 10th. And then also with Spice Club this or in November, we're starting our first Spice Club meet and greet. So instead of just taking the spice and going home and creating the recipes, you can now come in and meet the people who have also been doing the recipes. You can do a little taste test for like our past ones. So it's, it'll be really fun. Beth is doing um, that one on November 1st at 6.30. Oh, that's a great idea because yes. then people are kind of sharing their experiences with what they what they made. Exactly, and if they didn't make all the recipes, there's a chance for them to try the ones that they missed. Okay, so they should come in, uh, obviously let the library know that they're going to be there. Um, yeah, so yeah. we do want people to register just so know, we know how many people to expect and how many like appetizers kind of to make ahead yeah. of time. Yes. But oh. if people show up, we'll happily take them. <laughs> <laughs> you can come. But what a fun thing for Sage, because you think of Sage as kind of a wintry kind of thing. So yes, and then good. actually the meet and greet is going to be covering the ones we've done up until this point as well. So it's not just going to be for Sage. Okay. So that'll be that'll be nice as well. Oh, well. oh that's, a, that's a nice twist to this. Yes. That's yeah, good. Yeah, All it'll right. be fun. And then after that, on Thursday the 2nd, we actually have Leslie Goddard coming back. She's going to be doing um, the Pam Am, Pam Am Stewardess. So she's going to be doing um, that portrayal. So that is definitely one you have to register for because she is a hot commodity. She will sell out really quick. So I would get on that for the second at 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. So is that does that originate from a particular story or a book or no? So she's just following like the the big craze of like the stewardesses during like Pam Am. Uh -huh. So she's going through like some stories that happened, like what entailed like the clothing. So you had to be like a certain size and have a certain Height, persona, age. Yes. Yes. So she's going to be going through that whole thing while like dressed as one. That's so, so fun. Yes. Yeah, they look not like today's flight no, attendants. They're not at all. Very, there was very rigid demands on them. Yes. yes. That'll be interesting. And then on uh, Saturday, November 4th at 1, we have a self-care for busy people with um, author and yoga instructor Julie Gentile. And that is an in-person only program. So if you want to come to that, please register. Um, and then on Tuesday the 7th, we have the Kennedy assassination. Ooh. So it's what we know about it and the mm. things that we might not know pertaining to it. So that should be pretty, that should be pretty interesting. I that one it. is also in person only. Okay. We don't have too many hybrid programs coming up in November. Okay. Um, but the next one on November 9th at 7, we do have a hybrid program with building and maintaining healthy boundaries. And that's going to be given by someone from the Crisis Center of South Suburbia. Oh. So this is the third installment. Okay. So, so it's been a, a little bit of a series. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it'll be nice to have her back. She's very, very knowledgeable. And then our big one is our Veterans Day reception on Saturday, November 11th at noon. And that follows the City Hall reception. And so right after that, they can come to the library for some food. And I know we're going to be doing a slideshow for local veterans as well. 
And that is such a, a really great um, event that the library has hosted for years. Yes. And it really um, kind of thanks and uh, makes those veterans feel so good about you know, what they've done for the country and so forth. And it ends up to be a really nice, nice thing. And then it's like a twofold thing because we do have um, always something at City Hall uh, in Palos Heights and then go over to the Palos Heights uh, Public Library yes. as well. Yes, yeah. I know last year was a good turnout. We're hoping for another good one this year. That, so we're hoping, we're hoping people show up to it. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to come. So that's November 11th, actually on Veterans Day. Yes. At noon at, at noon. the library. Yes, ma'am. And there's good. gonna be a great raffle that day as well. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, so we're going to be raffling off one of our Glowforge designs. Oh, that is. Now, if you don't know what Glowforge is, explain. Please. It is a laser cutting machine for wood, different types of metal, so we can either cut it, etch it, and so it's it's really fun if you want to get into more not like woodworking, but if you're into crafting stuff, that's it's really fun. It is fun. That will give you a chance to look and see what Glowforge is, and the library will teach you how to, do, to use that machine. So if you don't know yes. or you're interested in it, you can make an appointment, right? Yeah, you can always make reservations. Make a reservation. You can learn how to do that yourself. So this is a good opportunity to see ahead of time what you could be making. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then our last hybrid program for November is um, adult onset type 2 diabetes on November 14th at 7 p.m. with family physician assistant Jennifer O'Brien, or O'Boyle, I apologize. So that'll be, that'll be a very informative program. That really will, program. And, and that's a, a troubling thing that a lot of people have to get their arms around so they can understand what to do, you know, either to exactly. manage it. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be a very nice one. So in person, online, if you want online, just register for it. Um, and then our Sunday at the Cinema for November um, is on the 19th. Uh, it's at 2 o'clock. And then it is Book Club, the next chapter. So it's the second Book Club book or movie. Movie. Yeah. Based. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. that'll be fun. The fun cast. It is. Jane Fonda and is it Sally Field in there? Diane Keaton? I don't know if Sally Field's in that one. She, she was in the 80 for Brady one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So, oh, Mary Steenburgen, I think, is in it too. Yeah. Those are, you know, gals who've been in the movies for a long time mm -hmm. that people are familiar with. So you will enjoy that too. Yes. All right. And then um, on Tuesday, November 28th at 7 p.m., we have Christmas time in the, sh in the city. So it's Chicago and it's Yule Contributions and Traditions. Mm -hmm. That one will be in person. And then uh, Wednesday, November 29th at 7 p.m., we have our Stag Magical Singers coming back to the library to oh, do a performance and sing along. On November 29th. Yes. Sing along. You know what? They are so good and they are so professional. And people love singing with them. Mm, yes. I've, I've been singing with them for years. I mean, just sitting there and singing all the familiar tunes that you, you most likely know. Um, so that's great. And that's yeah. November 29th at what time? At 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yes. And this is also taking place during our Merry and Bright in the Heights week. That's, okay. Yes. So that is on that day what we're Yes. Doing. So we have a full week of different festivities planned that everyone okay. can enjoy right. to help kick off the Kringle Market. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Sounds like fun. All right. And then uh, last but not least, in November, we have Baking with Beth, which sold out last year. People absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, the, the cookies she's doing are still a little bit of a secret. <laughs> so if you want to do it, definitely come and please register for it. She will have, um, she will have samples to give out. And so it's, it's always a really fun time. And she is quite the baker. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's great. Some people just, I, you know, have such a knack, mm -hmm. you know, f uh, for it. I might bake a cookie, but it doesn't look like that, you know. My no. taste, okay. <laughs> it's not that. I might have to do it a time or two, but I'll, <laughs> I'll get it eventually. <laughs> yeah, but she's really good, so you're going to enjoy that, too. Yes. All right. Anything else? No, that that's, that's it. it for adult. <laughs> okay, well, you've got a lot of... Uh, choices and you know what's really great is our library offers a broad spectrum of different things that you know you might enjoy watching baking but you really maybe just want to watch a movie I mean there's all kinds of different choices for you to do yes um, so and the same with youth and teen um, so Tina what's happening with them um, so a lot is happening with them <laughs> um, we are bringing back our weekly story times for November uh, 
We have Tales for Twos on Wednesdays. That is for our two-year-old patrons, so ages 24 to 35 months. And also on Wednesdays, we have Kindergarten Ready. That's for children ages three to five years old on Wednesday afternoons. And then on Thursdays, we have our, pa our babies coming in for Little Wigglers. So all the story times back in session every week. And you know, something like the Little Wigglers is really nice. Well, all of them, but mm -hmm. it's really nice for moms uh, yes. to you know, like see each other. And, yes. And be out of the house or whatever, <laughs> you know, like, oh, other people have, you know. Uh, little babies that do the same thing mine is doing. Yes, so. and you just register once and it automatically registers you for all the story times that month. Very good, mm -hmm. um, nice. Um, also wanted to remind our volunteers that are looking for service hours that they can come to the library, fill out a form, and then we will go ahead and help them get their service hours. Um, a lot of kids are coming in right now asking for getting their time slots in for the holidays or like the break that they have from mm -hmm. school. So they're taking advantage of that. I strongly encourage everyone else to do the same. <laughs> yeah, don't, uh -huh. don't wait because you're going to need those service hours. You don't right. want to wait till last minute. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's fun. Yes. It's fun to do stuff. On Tuesday, November 7th, we have our STEAM program. It's they're going to be making straw airplanes. So you're just using straws and paper and you're going to create your airplane and see how far it goes. And that's for children grades kindergarten through third grade. Oh, good. And we do we fly them at the library and see yes. how far it goes? Yes, fly them at the library. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, on Wednesday, November 8th, we have our furry readers program. Our therapy dogs are coming back to the library. And they love seeing all of the kids and parents that, and they just want to be cozying up next to you, hearing a good story. And they really mm -hmm. do. Dogs are such great listeners. Mm -hmm. Yes. Know, they, they enjoy the stories more than you think. Yes. <laughs> it's fun. Dungeons and Dragons is back. We have had a lot of buzz, a lot of patrons asking, when are we bringing it back? So we're bringing it back in November. <laughs> it's on Thursday, November 9th at 3.30. It lasts for two hours. You do not need to have any experience um, having played Dungeons and Dragons. You can come in and we'll show you how to play. And every, all of the teens that come to this event, they really just have a great time. And then they come to the library on their own to play Dungeons and Dragons on their own. It's great to see. Oh, oh that really is. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's nice to have the opportunity to learn something you maybe wanted to know, but you didn't know where to go to learn it, how yes. to play. This is a nice chance to mm -hmm. do that. It can be daunting. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then so everyone many. who leaves it is excited. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. I can always tell Love when Dungeons, and, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons gets out. Yeah. They're all just like talking about it when they come out. That's uh -huh. cool. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We also have our teen book box um, is on Friday, November 10th at five o'clock. Please register for this and then we will pick out a great book for you based on your interests and what you want to read. We'll give you some goodies in there that you get to keep and you get to just enjoy a book that you may not have selected on your own or known, known about. Mm -hmm. I really like that part of it that mm -hmm. you get a book that would be interesting to you it based mm -hmm. on what you've answered, but not one that you would have selected maybe because you didn't know about it. Right. And that makes mm -hmm. it a kind of a fun read. Yes. Yeah. And the neat thing about these book boxes also is we have an evaluation form so that the kids can let us know how we did in our picking or like write down a little bit about the story that they read that they liked or maybe didn't like and they love voicing their opinions oh, yeah. on that as well. Yeah, that's good mm -hmm. because then you know, you know, mm -hmm. we, we missed the mark or what we we got a home run on yeah. that one. Good. Um, pumpkin Pie Day is on mom Monday, November 13th at 5 o'clock. It's for ages 2 to 5. So come on into the library and make a pumpkin pie craft. <laughs> Cute. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tuesday, November 14th, we're having a dynamite program for children grades, kindergarten through third grade. Um, they're going to come in, they're going to play some games, and it, because November is also Dynovember, so oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> so they're going to enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> and then for our teens, we have Thankful Shadow Boxes on Wednesday, November 15th at 4 o'clock for our tween patrons, grades 4 through 8th grade. And they're going to make a lovely decorative shadow box um, for maybe family to enjoy around the holiday. That's nice. And it's good to think about the things that we should be grateful for. Right. Yeah. Good. Uh, turkey Crafts and Facts is on Tuesday, November 21st at 4 o'clock for children grades kindergarten through third grade. 
So I, I need to learn some turkey facts. <laughs> yes, too, so. I think I do too. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, everyone loves a good scavenger hunt, and that is also going to be on Tuesday, November 21st. Um, at 11.30 a.m. for children ages two to five years old. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's cute. And during our Merry and Brights in the Heights week, um, we have Christmas ornaments for our children grades, third through fifth grade. They're gonna be making Christmas ornaments using our Cricut upstairs. So they're mm. gonna look different, they're gonna look unique, but it's gonna be something that you created on our machine and you get to put it up on your tree at home. Okay, so could you explain the Cricut machine? So yes. the Cricut, it, it's one of the machines in our fab lab along with our Glowforge, and you are able to create a design and you can cut paper with the Cricut, you can cut felt materials with the Cricut, oh. and pretty much lots of things that you can cut with that, and then you get to make this make different things. So I believe November we also have Girl Scouts coming and they're going to be making Thanksgiving cards on our oh, crickets. Okay. So Okay, so so it's another thing that you can mm -hmm. learn to do mm -hmm. and go use it. I mean, I'm talking about everyone, you know, no matter what age you are. Yes. You can come in and learn how to do that too cuz maybe you want to make a special card or whatever for mm -hmm. someone. Yeah. yeah. It's good. And uh, we also have holiday crafts on Tuesday, November 28th at 4 o'clock to help Again, get into like the Christmas spirit for children grades, kindergarten through third grade. Good. Nice. And then, last but not least, we have a Christmas tree puzzle that our patrons can make on Thursday, November 30th at 5 o'clock. This is for our teen patrons. So this puzzle is completely made out of wood, and you're going to cut it using the Glowforge, and you're going to paint it and decorate however you want. And you can keep the puzzle that is shaped like a Christmas tree, or you can give it away as a gift. Oh, that mm -hmm. is cool. And that, I mean, it's nice to keep something, but sometimes mm -hmm. you're looking for something a little different and special for someone, so it's kind of that's kind of a cool gift for somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds great. As always, we've got all kinds of things coming up mm -hmm. at the library, and um, all the holiday stuff, and just enjoy, you know, coming in there. I, I just like to you know, be at the library with that, um, just the ambiance there is, is really great. So I hope you go there and I hope you sign up for some of these things, if not all of these things, because it'll keep you super busy and uh, enjoy your time at the library. And thanks for watching us today. Thank you, Emily. Thank, Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.